Yep, you read that title correctly. Today, I'm going to be trying cauliflower cereal. So both of these are cauliflower-based hot cereals. So think of oatmeal. They are the first ever oat-free cauliflower-based breakfast. A simple way to introduce veggies into a light and delicious breakfast with the same satisfying texture as traditional oatmeal. So there are three different ways that you can make this. You can fill the line with hot water and you can let it steep for four to five minutes, which is what I will be doing with both of these. You can microwave it the traditional way for 60 seconds after you fill it with water to the fill line. And then you can also do overnight oats. Add cold milk to fill line. Stir well and cover. Let soak for four plus hours or overnight in the fridge. So this is created by Purely Elizabeth. And these are the two flavors I will be trying today. It is cinnamon almond and strawberry hazelnut. So let's open this one first. This is the cinnamon almond. It says there's a fill line. Oh, I see it. So, um, yeah, might be able to see it. Yeah, way down there, that pink line. Um, and I'm just going to be filling it with hot water. All right, give this a good stir. But it does have a little bit of a weird smell. And I don't know if that's the cauliflower. But anyways, we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let this sit for four to five minutes. I'm going to set that over there. And I'm going to go ahead and open this one and get this one going as well. This is the strawberry hazelnut. So while these are cooking, let's see, they're both a serving size and they're both 190 calories. They have eight grams of sugar. As far as ingredients go, so the ingredients for the strawberry hazelnut one is almond protein powder, coconut flakes, coconut sugar, freeze dried cauliflower, hazelnuts, freeze dried strawberries, chia seeds, flax seeds, and that is all for that one. And then the almonds, the cinnamon almond one has almond protein powder, coconut flakes, almonds, freeze dried cauliflower, coconut sugar, freeze dried banana, chia seeds, flax seeds, cinnamon, coconut milk powder, which includes coconut milk and tapioca maltodextrin and gum acacia. And that is it for that one. They're both certified gluten free and they are both certified vegan and non-GMO for both of them and both grain free. I'm excited. I'm excited here. So they probably have about four more minutes to go and then I'm gonna try them both. Okay, so enough time has passed and uh, I have, I'm gonna be trying the strawberry and hazelnut one first and I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't smell great. It's, it must be the cauliflower that I'm smelling because it just, there's a bad smell there and it's, it's not, it's not very appetizing. It makes me not want to try it, but I'm going to try it anyways. Um, so there we go. It, it looks like oatmeal though. I got mine a little runny. I think I put a little too much water in it. Let's give this a shot. Hmm. It's pretty gross. <laughs> for there being so much sugar in here, I could I could almost go for it to be sweeter. Um, because it doesn't taste good. I'm gonna take another bite. The texture's kind of funky too. It's got like flakes in it. I mean I knew it wasn't gonna be like oatmeal, because I mean it's not oatmeal, but all right, let's give the cinnamon almond one a try. I really like cinnamon, so that it's it's just I don't want to use the word sour. All right, let's give this one a shot. This is again the cinnamon almond. I shouldn't smell that. This one's better. You can tell the cinnamon's working really hard to try and just cover up that 
I guess, cauliflower taste. Cinnamon's working really hard, but it is bland. Um, it really needs something else. I think some fresh fruit in it would help it a lot. Maybe a little bit of maple syrup. I mean, I know there's all that sugar in there, but it sure don't taste like it. Yeah, I I'll say that the cinnamon one's not bad. Cinnamon power overpowers a lot here. Try the this one again. I mean, you get a little bit of strawberry. It's not bad, but it doesn't. It's not strong enough to overpower the that other taste. Okay, I don't want any more. <laughs> I hate to say it, but this one's a no from me. I can appreciate what they were trying to do here, and I guess if you can't eat oats, this could be a like a really good base, like. I wouldn't want to just eat these. Like I said earlier, you definitely need to add stuff to it to just make them a little bit more palatable. If you get one, I do recommend the cinnamon almond. There we have it. Tried cauliflower, hot cereal. If there are any other uh, weird plant-based foods that you've come across that you would like me to try, let me know in the comments down below. I have a few more that I have noticed that I would love to check out and try. So until next time, everybody. Bye.